I truly believe that there is no downfall to physical training. And I truly believe that every single human on the face of earth should be engaging in some course of physical activity every single day of their entire life. And let me tell you why. A lot of people look at it as just a physical benefit. But the thing is, the, the real gym rats know this, the people that go to the gym consistently every single day. Not the people that are maybe go every single day for a year or two years, but the people that have been going consistently for years and years on end. They will all tell you the same thing. It is more just physical than than appearance based. And if you go into any type of scientific research, you will even find plenty of data that supports the fact that you will not lose muscle if you take one, two, even maybe three weeks off at a time. But the thing is, the mental, the mental benefits you get are things that you can get from nothing else. The natural endorphins released into your body, the confidence increases, the overall just, the belief systems that you gain from exercise are the main reasons that people go consistently and of course we have physical reasons behind it of course that's one of the reasons of course i wake up every day and i'm like oh i want to work on this muscle or that muscle but at the same time i more so know like oh, i need to get a workout because if i don't get a workout i'm not going to feel my best and when i say feel my best i don't mean all oh, my muscles aren't going to look as big what i'm saying is i'm not going to feel like i can think as clearly not that i can't not that i think worse but I'm not going to think as clearly as I would on the days that I do exercise. And I'm also not going to be able to focus on the days that I do exercise. My confidence levels are not going to be where they are on the days that I do exercise. My stress levels are going to be higher on those, those days that I don't exercise. And I mean, you can, people can say, oh, I don't have time for it, whatever, but you make the time. And even if you look at the top people in the world, like the top entrepreneurs, the top businessmen, the people that make money, all of them at one point in life, majority of them, if, if they're not there yet, most of them engage in some sort of physical exercise, not just for the physical benefits, but also because it's going to help you in other avenues of your life. The physical aspect of some type of training, it doesn't have to be workouts. It doesn't have to be running. It doesn't have to be um, it doesn't have to be a specific thing, but moving your body, there is a literal scientific proof that shows that it is going to benefit not only your physical health and your body, but also your appearance and not just your appearance, your confidence levels and not so much your confidence levels, meaning because, oh, now you, you look better. So you have more confidence. It's not necessarily how it works. That's a small factor, but mainly your confidence levels increase because your confidence is determined by doing the things that you tell yourself you are going to do. So if you go to the gym every single day, that shows I'm a confident person. I believe in myself. I believe that I'm going to follow through on the things that I say. I believe that no matter how bad my day was, how bad I slept, how bad my food was, even though obviously you should prioritize that as much as you can, no matter what, I'm going to go. And I'm, I'm not going to say that you should never take rest days. I think there comes a time and a point where, yeah, you, you need to take a little rest. But I'm talking some type of physical activity every single day. You don't have to lift weights every day. You also don't have to run every day. You don't have to um, train hard as possible every single day. But what you should, and I believe what you have to do, is do some sort of training every day. Um, there are so many benefits to it. There is science that shows when you exercise, your cognitive function, aka how your brain works and responds to things and how, uh, th sorry, <laughs> thoughts and how it processes information is so much better. And if you do not believe me, bro, go start going to the gym. Don't just do it one time because there are so many different factors. So you might be like, oh, it's not from that, it's from something else. Go consistently for a week, two weeks at a time. First thing in the morning, with, uh, with like on a fasted stomach, bro, just do 10, 10 push-ups, 20 push-ups, and then go do something else, like read a book or whatever productive work you need to do. 
And then compare that to the days that you didn't do that first. I'm telling you, bro, you're going to be better physically, your brain health, bro, your your gut, your digestive system, bro, all of that. Your skin will become clearer. Your confidence, like I said, will get better. But on top of that, there's just so much mental benefit from it that people do not, like they just rule out. And aside from the whole uh, mental benefits, it's more so a psychological benefit, bro. You tell yourself, I'm going to the gym. What are you going to the gym for? Most likely you want to work on something. Myself, I've been working out for 10 years and I start to see, I start to pay attention to, to minor detail much more than I used to. Before it was just like, oh, I want to get huge. I want to get jacked, like everybody says. But obviously as you put some muscle on, you start to realize like, okay, number one, you have made tons of progress if you've done the right things consistently. And even if you haven't made tons of progress, you've made way more progress than you would have made if you didn't go to the gym. Um, physical, mental, everything. So when it comes to psychological, if you are going to the gym, typically, at least this is how I view, view it. Going to the gym, you have a mindset, okay, I want to work on something today. I want to get better at something. So for me, right? On a, a heavy training day, um, say I'm doing, like today I did chest and triceps. I did my fasted cardio this morning. I went home, I ate some food, and I came back to the gym. I did chest and triceps. Chest is one of my weaker muscles, one of my lagging muscles that I've always felt is difficult to grow. Throughout the years, I've always just tried more and more and more. Recently, meaning the past year or two, I've noticed my chest has gone a lot bigger. That is something physical but it translates over into different avenues of your life. So without even realizing it, without even trying to do this, you start to look at life differently. So not only, yes, am I trying to get my muscles bigger, but on top of that, that's going to carry over to different avenues of my life. So in when it comes to uh, my business or when it comes to uh, my nutrition or when it comes to my sleep or when it comes to my day-to-day -day, um, habits and things that I do throughout the day, you are going to realize that you have instilled something inside your brain that is telling you and helping you rationalize to make better decisions to be like, okay, how can I do better than I did than I was yesterday? How can I make a better choice? And it doesn't happen overnight, but over time of doing this, you will look back and realize I have made so much progress because I have forced myself, whether or not I've wanted to do it, to get better in one avenue of my life. And it's the same thing for people with like different aspects. So I think people that are very disciplined when it comes to, um, say, studying for a test, they might not have experience working out. They might not like to do it. They might be uh, shy or like nervous to go to the gym and work out in front of people. And that's going to be hard, just like it is for people that start working out and go into that. But what I'm telling you is it is so much easier once you've been doing one of those habits for a long time. Because if you start to think of it, think of it like, okay, how can I use this and put this much energy and effort into a different category of my life? And it makes it very, it makes it easier once you uh, figure out how to do that. And once you do that you have a mindset as opposed to looking at life as, oh, this is just how I live. You have a mindset as I want to gradually get better. I want to improve myself. I want to do more. And my whole thing is if I'm, I used to always be like that. I used to always be like, you know, whatever it's, it is what it is. When I started exercising and I started taking it more serious, I was able to just naturally bring those things into the other avenues of my life. So now I'm able to focus more on my work. Not so much because of the gym. Yes, that is part of it for the brain health. But on top of it, I know that I discipline myself in the fitness category. I know that I discipline myself when it comes to training hard. I used to hate running. I used to hate doing cardio. I used to hate eating healthy. I used to hate reading books. I used to hate making my bed. I used to hate doing these things that I don't want to do. I used to hate reaching out to whatever, um, doing productive things. There's always things that suck in life. But when you gain the habits from physical activity, it is going to allow you to, it might not be super easy and it might not happen overnight, but eventually you're going to start to be able to put that 
into something else. So I think, I think uh, I can't really talk because I started out, out working out and then, you know, obviously I was doing other things too, um, productive things, but I started working out and it helped me become a better studier and it helped me become a better person when it comes to reading books. I'm able to focus more. It helped me discipline myself when I make day-to-day -day rational decisions and I think through things. When you don't work out, you just, not everybody obviously, but it's hard to make a decision and be decisive and it's hard to, in a way, um, do the things that you don't want to do. And everybody is not like this, I'm sure, but I am a huge fan of fitness and when I started working out, I thought it was cool, yeah, but I don't think, when I think back to when I first started exercising, I don't genuinely think I, I loved it as much as I love it now. I think I have a passion for it. I'm super passionate for it. But I think when I started working out, it was more so I wanted to do it for other goals, right? For sports. Um, to, I wanted to get stronger. That was part of it. And I did have fun with it as the things, as you learn the things, right? But if you suck at something it's very hard and very challenging to also enjoy that right i used to play basketball when i was younger i was so bad um and it was fun but it doesn't it's it's very hard to have fun with something when you suck at it or when you're really bad or when you can't make progress but the fact that i started playing sports and i started getting better with them and i started practicing more and putting in more work and putting in more energy then I was like, okay, I really love basketball. I really love baseball. Not only because it's a fun sport, but also now I'm much better because I know input equals output. If I put this work in, I can expect X. I can expect these things to happen. And as bad as I was at this particular sport or as whatever, you get better, bro. It doesn't happen overnight, but you get better with things. And then I started working out for sports and I was like, okay, well, I'm a little bit better at sports now. If I start working out, I can get better. And I'm telling you, it's all a domino effect. Now I'm at the point where, yeah, I started working out to get bigger, to get stronger, to help me with sports, to help me gain confidence. And now that's what I look at fitness as. Okay, how can I get better? How can I get better? And after some time, the fitness has led me into creating a business that revolves around fitness and it also has allowed me to discipline myself and my thoughts and when it comes to learning going to school doing things i do not want to do doing things that maybe i want to do but they're hard everything is going to suck when you're not good at it bro even if it's like it doesn't suck as bad as other things it's always going to be hard um when you're better at things it's just that much more fun so when you enjoyed when you learn to enjoy the process things get better and yeah there's a domino effect and so now it goes from playing sports to moving into fitness so now i'm i have all these things combined and now it's helping me with my personal life it's helping me with relationships and friendships it's helping me just be more disciplined with my nutrition like my nutrition has never been this good and it would my nutrition would have never been this good i mean maybe it would have but it would have been much harder to focus on my nutrition if i wasn't doing my um my strength training the way I do. And um, I used to hate doing cardio. I've been doing cardio consistently for months on end, every single day, fasted cardio. You know what that does? People think, oh yeah, you know, it, it helps It helps with body fat. Yeah, that's the reason I started. I started, to do, I started to do cardio because I wanted to bring my body fat down slightly. Or not slightly, I wanted to bring my body fat down. But on top of that, I more so knew like I needed to work on my discipline and not just fitness, but other avenues of life. So waking up every single morning, going to the gym on an empty stomach. Some days I feel great. Other days I'm like, oh, I wish I could eat breakfast first. And not that I can't, but I'm choosing to go to the gym, do a little bit of cardio before I eat breakfast. I started off with the, okay, with the mindset, okay, it's gonna help me. It's gonna help my metabolism. It's gonna help my body fat start to decrease. It's gonna help me uh, get my metabolism rolling for the day. But not just that getting out of bed and the first thing you do in the morning starting something that sucks doing something that you hate to do now i'm at the point where it's not difficult anymore and i enjoy i look forward to my morning cardio although i still don't really like doing cardio i wake up the first thing i do in the morning well not the first thing i, I do i do um read and do a, little, a couple other morning rituals but 
as soon as I get to the gym, I'm hungry and I'm like, oh, I wish I could eat right now. But I know, come on, just push off that 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 gratification, long term over short term. And I get back from the gym. Not only am I helping my physical and my mental toughness, but on top of it, I am disciplining myself in the process. And since I started doing these things, since I started just, okay, let me just one habit at a time. This is what I tell people. Try to focus one habit at a time. Build up that one block, right? If you're building a house, are you going to put a brick here and then a brick here and then a brick? No, dude, you're going to put all the base ones. Then once those are sturdy and you have them set in stone, no pun intended, but once the, the bricks or whatever you're using is firm, and it cannot move no matter what it cannot move then you move to the next level and that's how i look at fitness you know i looked at it as okay i, I went through a rough path in my life where i kind of fell off with my whole workouts and my fitness now i'm at a point where i hammered away at the fitness i hammered away i hammered away hammered away as i did that not only did i start to see more progress which, inch, which increased my confidence but i also started to realize like i am doing the things that I said I wanted to do. I'm doing the things that um, that are, are of purpose and that are gonna give me value and benefit my life. Once I had the base down, then I moved into the cardio. Once I had the cardio down, then I moved into the nutrition. And now I'm at a point where it has been so long, I can't even think back to the point. And I don't even like to think back because it's, it's a different person. Um, but obviously you wanna look back and you know um, look at the progress you've made but you ins you instill these moral of the story you instill these small habits once you have the small habits instilled then you move on to the next one and i've recently now been going into other types of different avenues of combat sports and more long distance running which i hate long distance running i used to just do short distance because it, it's more fun in my opinion and long distance kind of sucks even though i ran in high school i more so did it for a reason oh i want to be more conditioned and I want to stay in shape in the off season for other sports but although I hated it I actually start to enjoy it and I took some time off from it after high school now the past few years I've been getting back into cardio and I'm telling you it sucks yeah at the beginning but not only are you gonna go through that immediate pain at the beginning and then become better but also you enjoy it you start to enjoy um, the journey and I just think that if you start with something as small as going to the gym, you can go to the gym for 10 minutes. You, you, you might not believe me, but I did this in the past when I had rough spells and times where I, I was not consistent with myself. You go to the gym for five, 10 minutes, bro. It sounds stupid. It sounds dumb, but you build that habit. Drive to the gym, bro. Even if you, like, I'm not even exaggerating. There were times in my life when I went to the gym and I was in a rut. I had no motivation. I had no discipline. And I just went to the gym. And like I went there for 5, 10, 15 minutes. And I was like, oh, I can't work out. Like I don't have um, the focus for it. And then pretty much, long story short, I started, um, I started just building the habit. And then as you build the habit, you become more confident and disciplined with yourself, which leads to other avenues of your life. And now I'm in a place where I have never felt my best. I'm sorry, I have never felt this good. Uh, this is the best I've ever felt. Uh, this is the best I've physically ever looked, best I've ever felt physically, mentally. Um, the, this is the most disciplined I've been in my entire life. And the main reason is because in all avenues of my life, and I obviously have a long way to go, but the main reason is because I instilled that small habit that kind of, I guess, worked as a building block in a way where I like to use the term brick by brick. You start with the smallest thing because David Goggins, a big a big um, inspiration of mine, says, you know, you have all these problems, all these things around um, going on in your life. You can't look at all of them at the same time and try to figure, I used to do that, I used to try to figure out like, how do I balance giving maximal effort to all of these things? You can't do that because if you give maximum effort to one that you're going to take away from the other one so you need to start with one thing i mean maybe not everybody but this is just my advice start with the one thing that you think you can do even if it's going on a five minute walk at a very slow pace 
from there, you get better, you get better, you get better. And then you start to not only increase your confidence, but you start to yeah get better at that specific task. And then that leads you to other things in your life. And I, I think it is going to work as a domino effect in your life where you start to believe in your capabilities more and you start to appreciate the person you've become in the process. I used to even, I used to even be an introverted person. The fact that I have social media right now and I post these videos for you guys, I used to be the shyest person in the world and I started posting these videos. I started with just workout videos. Um, because I was passionate about fitness and still am. But as I've gotten more confident, not just with these videos, but also with other things in my life, now I'm able to go in here and talk for 20 minutes and hopefully inspire you guys. And that is the best feeling in the world. There are people in my gym that I used to never be this person. I used to be that shy and took your kid. And now I'm the person that goes up to kids. Be like, hey dude, like, um, whatever, what's going on? Or, or kids will come to me, ask me, excuse me, ask me for advice. And like, I, I'm able to just give them advice and it's the best feeling in the world when you can help somebody and you can actually inspire somebody, whether or not you they're motivated by it or not, doesn't matter. If you, if there's even a chance that you can help that person, that is such a great feeling. And I just think that physical fitness benefits everybody and not everybody's going to be on the same level starting off, but you're going to gain so much from it. And I just highly recommend doing something, um, physical because, um, when you're bringing, when you're, when you have to push past, not just your physical limits, but your, your mental capabilities and what you think are your mental limits. Meaning like if you have two more reps in the tank, I don't know if I can do it. Bro, you, you tell yourself in your mind, I'm going to do that. You can get them up. So, um, you accomplish a lot when you start to do things that can benefit you. Which mine, the one I started with is fitness and exercise in general. Um, and it's going to change your life. I, I promise you. And if it doesn't, then comment on this video and and we can we can chat because <laughs> I can almost guarantee you there will be no d downfall from exercise. The only minor downfall is getting injured, and even that is you're trying to rush the process. You're trying to go too heavy. So just keep in mind you're capable of so much more than you can ever think. And yeah, dude. It's not just physical, it's it's so much more than that. So I hope um this helps somebody.